Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So on today's video, I'm gonna be doing some really quick DIY projects in our kitchen. It's not gonna be anywhere near finished, but it's getting a lot closer. And I wanna show you a couple of the things that I've been doing. Let's swap out this light fixture in three, two, one. In three, two, one. So this light fixture right here I found on Craigslist. It was listed for 30 bucks and I couldn't pass it up. You guys know how much I love schoolhouse light fixtures and it has a couple of stars on either end. It's kind of hard to see in this dark hole of ours in our house, but it has a couple of stars on either end and it's a true antique. Like it's, it's super old, it's rusty, it has a ceramic socket inside it's really cool so I got this for 30 bucks and thought I would put it here in our little hallway area outside our bathroom because it fits right up in the ceiling really nicely and then while I was there the guy selling me that one was like I have another one and I asked him if it was a schoolhouse light fixture and he said yeah and so he showed me this one and he said he was asking 40 for this one and I was like I can't leave it. Yes, I'll take it. Maybe you can see the shade a little bit better with the light off, but it's heavy. Like that shade weighs a lot. And I saw a shade like this on Craigslist this week, just the shade, and they were asking 85 for it. And I'm not sure if this is the exact same thing as what they were trying to sell, but I got this for 40. I thought it was a steal and I really like it up there in the kitchen above the sink. know that I painted this accent wall here that runs along the side of the entrance in our kitchen so I decided to just continue that color along the wall above the, the kitchen sink and then over by the fridge so that the kitchen would be just this color I'm honestly pretty obsessed with this color I know it's not really showing up on camera very well I've been told it kind of looks white, but it's a frosty mint with hints of green and blue. And I'll try to insert a picture of the color I saw online that really shows it really well, but I think it just pairs really, really well with the hickory cabinets and with the dark wood trim that we have. And I absolutely love it. And again, I did this wall and this over here, and it just took one coat. And this is the Magnolia Home line of paint and it's kills i believe so it has primer in it and i really like it it's really easy to use and it seems to cover really really well here's another shot of it by our south facing window i don't know if this gives you a better idea of what it looks like up against both the types of wood we have in here but it's really beautiful and then over here by the peninsula and the front door, we have this wall that's just a big blank space right now. And I was originally gonna put some pictures up that we've had in our kitchen or our dining areas for years, but they're just a little bit too big for the space. And so I decided it would be kind of cool if I did like a collection of baskets and hung them up here. So I'll show you real quick what I got. This morning before I ran into Walmart, I stopped real quick at Salvation Army just to look at their baskets and see if they had anything that I could use on the wall here. My plan wasn't really to do this today, but I hit the jackpot, so I think I'm gonna be able to actually get the wall over here done today so you can see what it looks like after the baskets are hung. So let me show you real quick what I got. So I got this one and I try to do round designs and this is kind of oval but i thought it'd be really cool this was two dollars
And then I got this set of five plates. I think they're probably like the kind that you set like a picnic plate in or something. I'm not really sure, but this whole set of five was $2. And then I thought this one was actually the neatest one, even though it's a little bit broken here on the bottom, but I'm gonna just try and see if I can maybe hot glue that or something. But she gave it to me for 50 cents because it's broken. I thought that was a pretty good deal and I really liked the design on the back. And then I got this one for a dollar. And then, this one I picked up and I almost didn't grab it. I was like, I don't know what this is. It kind of reminded me honestly of like lacrosse or something. I was like, well, do I want something like that on my kitchen area wall? But I ended up grabbing it anyway because it was three bucks and I thought, well, that's kind of a cool shape and color to go with everything else that I picked up. Um, and it, it turns out that it's, I think a vintage ladle. Like I looked it up and that's what Google said. So actually I think it'll be perfect for the kitchen area if that's really what it is, but it's in really good shape. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad I grabbed this one. And then we went to Walmart and I just was like, well, I'll go look at the baskets real quick just to see what they have. Cause I kind of wanted a bigger basket to go in the center of all these smaller ones, kind of like a focal point. And I found this basket, it was 25 bucks, but I couldn't leave it. It's really cool. I think it's awesome. It's called a decorative tray. So I think this will be really cool for the center and then kind of hanging the smaller baskets around it. And I'm gonna clean these up because you can totally wash your baskets. I'm gonna clean them up with some soapy water and then let them dry out. That's the key. So you don't want them to get moldy or anything. I'll let them dry out and then I'm going to kind of start laying them out and I'll just kind of show you my process while I'm doing that and then we'll get them hung up. baskets are here drying I am going to actually remove the blinds in the kitchen on this window and this one over here I've been dying to do this for a while and you guys know I've said before that our house gets really dark because of all the wood that absorbs the light and we never close these blinds never saw that tree moving and I was like what's going on out there she was eating the branch puppies anyway so we never close these blinds it's been a few months now and I'm gonna keep the blinds just in case I want to put them back up but we're remote enough out here that we don't get a lot of traffic on this road out in front of our house and this is the side of our house over here and it's pretty wooded and the next door neighbor's house you can't even see. So I think we're going to be okay. And if I decide to put them back up later, I will. But I just want to try it. So let's do that while we're waiting for all these baskets to dry. that one just kind of popped out I meant to show you guys but I was really struggling with it and then all of a sudden it was off so got it off and clean the windows now and see if it makes it any brighter in here and I'm gonna keep the old blinds in the mudroom just in case we want to reuse them
did some research on Pinterest and I looked at a bunch of different basket collages and it seemed that I really liked them better when the baskets were touching and not with a gap in between. And I want mine to swoop from the top of the, the front door down towards the peninsula. So I think this is kind of what I'm going for. I want the big basket in the middle. I know that for sure. And then I have about five feet of space to work with, which is about as much space as this peninsula is giving me to work with. And I've got an even almost number of baskets on either side of the biggest one. So I think I'm going to try this and put the big basket in the center and then work on it from there. I think it turned out really well. I might put another smaller basket at the end right here. But we'll see. Now if you guys are interested in doing this on a wall in your home but you're not sure how it's going to go with cleaning them, let me know in the comments if you want me to keep you updated on that. In my mind, it might be a little bit of a pain but I think the best way to do it would be like the brush attachment on the vacuum but if you want me to keep you posted on that just let me know in the comments. this video if you've enjoyed my channel then please subscribe and if you want notification on new uploads then don't forget to hit the bell hope you guys had a great day talk to you later you guys Ruger, let's go for a ride. Ruger. Ruger. Abby, no, oh my God. Ruger. No. Stop. Stop it. <laughs>
on. <laughs> Ruger! <laughs> you got Ruger! Let's go! Come on! Come on! In the car. Come on! Get in! Thank you!